Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today's session, I am going to discuss about how to draw the NMOS logic circuit for universal gate. So what is universal gate? So in this universal gate, uh, we have two types of gates comes under universal gate. So first one is NAND operation and another one is a NOR operation. So why this gate so call it as a universal operation? So using these two gates, we can create the any operation. So any operations for the logic gate and Boolean expression. So only it's called as a universal gate. So let me first draw NAND operation. So after that, I draw the NOR operation. So NAND gate. So first I draw the symbol of NAND gate. So this is the symbol of NAND gate inputs of A, B and C. So C is the output. So this bubble represent inversion. Inverter. Okay. So the Boolean expression for NAND gate A dot B whole bar. So I'll, I already told in any Boolean expression so logical expressions first you verify which operator is present inside the Boolean expression. So based on the operator, you fix the enhancement mode transistor is connected in series or parallel connection. So here, the Boolean expression, inside the Boolean expression, the operator is dot operator. So dot operator in the sense, enhancement mode transistor is connected in series connection. Now I am going to write the truth table. So inputs of A and B, output is C. So these two variables are making four combinations of input. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. So using the property, you can find the output values. So the property of NAND gate is, if any one input value is 0, the corresponding output is 1. So both values are 0, the output is 1. 0 1 output value 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 so it's a truth table of NAND gate so now I am going to draw the NMOS logic for NAND operation so in this NMOS logic it consists of two network so one is pull up network another one is pull down network so pull up network and pull down network. So this pull up network consists of depletion mode transistor. So this pull up network connect between VDD and output. So it's a output line. So this pull up network is connect between VDD and output. So VDD and output. Then come to the pull down network. So pull down network consists of enhancement mode transistor. So this network is connect between output and VSS. So this pull down network connect between VSS and output. So using this structure, now I am going to fix the transistors. So first I will draw the pull up network. So pull up network consists of depletion mode transistor. So it's a depletion mode transistor symbol. So this transistor is connect between VDD and output. So here output variable is C. So output variable is C. So this gate is connect to output. Then come to pull down network. So in this pull down network consists of enhancement mode transistor. So here this NAND gate it have a it has a two variables. So each variable consists of one transistor. So here operator is dot operator. So dot operator in the sense the two transistors are connected in series. So this two transistor, this one is T1, T2, T3. So T2 and T3 are connected to series. So this network is connected between VSS and output. So input variable of T2 is A, T3 input variable is B. So now I am going to verify the output with the truth table. So let me take the input value. So A value 0, B value 1. So A value 0, B value 1. So in this case, T3 transistor 
on T2 of so this T1 transistor it acts as a load resistor so it's always turn on condition so the torque is turn on condition so in this case the VDD is connected to output because the T2 transistor is a high impedance there is no flow so the VDD is directly connected to output so C value is set to be 1 so the logic output also 1 the tooth table value also 1 so both the values are same values the design is right then I am taking one more uh, input values so both values are 1 1 so A value 1 B value 1 so in this case T2 transistor turn on T3 transistor turn on so T1 transistor also turn on because it's a load resistor so in this case VDD connect to VSS through T1 transistor, T2 transistor and T3 transistor so output of this logic circuit is 0, MOS logic circuit is 0 so the truth table output is 0 here the circuit output also 0 so now I am going to draw the NOR gate so first I draw the symbol of NOR gate so it is a symbol the input variables are A and B output is C the Boolean expression for NOR gate is A plus B the whole wall so it is a Boolean expression for NOR gate so in this Boolean expression the operator is plus so plus in the sense the MOS enhancement mode transistor connecting parallel so now I write the truth table So it has a two variable, so this two variable making four combinations of input 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So the output of uh, NOR gate is so 0 plus 0, output is 1. So remaining all the cases, the output value is 0. It's a basic property already you studied in this property in digital electronics. Now I'm going to draw the NMOS logic circuit for uh, NOR gate. I already told so this NMOS logic circuit consists of two networks pull up network and pull down network so pull up network consists of depletion mode transistor pull down network consists of enhancement mode transistor so this pull up network connect between VDD and output so this pull up network is connect between VDD and output so here output variable is C so it's the transistor name called as T1 so this whole network is called as pull up network then come to pull down network so, so in this pull down network consists of uh, enhancement mode transistor so here NOR gate is it has uh, two variables so each variable consists of one transistor so here I am taking two transistor that namely T2 and T3 so input of T2 is A, input of T3 is B. So here the Boolean expression, here placed plus operator. So plus in the sense, these two transistors are connected parallel. So this pull down network connect between VSS and output. So it's a basic structure of uh, market. Now I am going to verify the output with the truth table. So let me take uh, the first input value A value 0, B value 0. So A value 0, B value 0. So in this case T2 transistor turn off, T3 transistor turn off. So this T1 transistor always turn on because it's a load resistor. So here VDD is directly connected to C output. So output values is 1. So both the values are same. So now I am taking one more input value so A value 1, B value 1 so A1, B value 1 so in this case T2 turn on, T3 transistor turn on so both the transistor are turn on, T1 also turn on so VDD is connected to VSS 
So this will is connect to VSS through T1, T2, T3 transistor. So output of this logic circuit is zero. I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make lot of videos. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you.